top skills needed to be a successful coach and mentor. You're going over my top 10 qualities that you need to have and skills that you have to refine to be a successful coach in today's market. So these are things that I go over with my clients to really be able to help them just push through to the next level of their coaching business. And I am now sharing those tips with you. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below. There is so so much content coming for you guys. I'm going to start with something that kind of took me a little bit to get the hang of um, just because I am the type of person that always has just been a little too honest at times. And it took me a very long time also to be able to live outside of my emotions. But once I did this, it completely changed my entire business. And honestly, every part of my life with my relationships, with my relationship with my clients, personal relationships, and my business as a whole. Whole. And that is your attitude, your emotions, how you are able to keep and streamline an attitude of always having enthusiasm, but not being overly dramatic or fake and being able to have a stable attitude at all times. Now with attitude, I don't mean like a snotty attitude. I mean an attitude where it is in a sense, your personality, where you can have a neutral but enthusiastic personality throughout your entire career. This is something that took me, as I said, a very long time to be able to refine and harness. As a lot of us always kind of live outside um, you know, of our own emotions and we let those kind of mitigate our entire lives in a sense. But once I was able to really just understand that this was not only for myself, my own personal development, but this also is a trait that is going to help my business and my clients' lives and the business and services that I can provide for my clients. It was an absolute game changer for me. And what you really need to have a strong, sustainable, and successful business. So absolutely, the number one skill to refine for your coaching business to be successful and for you to be successful as a coach or a mentor is making sure that you have your attitude in check and your personality is enthusiastic but stable. If you want some specific examples or help with this specific topic, you can absolutely reach out to me on Instagram. My Instagram link is down below. You can reach out to me. I literally answer all my DMs. I get people like, oh, I didn't think you were going to respond. I literally answer everyone. If you have any simple questions, I am always here for you guys. If not, comment down below. I also answer questions but I absolutely would answer you on Instagram. Just reach out to me there. Number two is refining your listening skills. So this is something that a lot of us, when we are just kind of going through life, you've ever heard that saying, you don't listen to listen, you listen to respond. I think I kind of maybe said that, that quote wrong, but there is a saying where you are not listening to actually listen. And I'm going to say it again, that you are listening to respond. So when you want to be a successful coach and you really want to help your clients problems and their issues or concerns, and that is why they hired you, you really need to refine your listening skills. You should really be hearing them, hearing their concerns, hearing their issues, hearing their goals, really taking into account what they are telling you, not just listening so that way you can respond possibly even with a solution right then and there. Sometimes our best ideas 
come a little bit later on. So through also your relationship with your client, because every client's needs are different, even if their goal might be the same and that's why they hired you within your specialty, you should always be listening to each individual client's needs and their specific goals. So you can really tailor a beautiful experience for them so that way it really in turn makes your business successful because if you have watched any of my other videos i always talk about the magic of referrals and that being one way to really grow your business and get more clients so you always want to make sure that each client experience is top tier is top notch you're giving them all of you i don't know why i quoted this because you really should be that is why they hired you and you are offering your services. So make sure you are listening to each and every individual client because that's exactly what I do with all of my clients and why I feel I have a great success rate and referrals. So number three is having understanding empathy and compassion for your clients. So this is kind of piggybacking on to number two, and you will see that there is a kind of a, a theme when it comes to these skills for you to really be a successful coach and give your clients the best services. So really being able to be compassionate, empathetic, understanding with your clients is going to make their experience with you just on a whole other level because you are connecting with them on a professional level and you can really be able to see what they are going through in their shoes and help you really customize again and tailor their experience with you and their services with you to maximize their results. Number four is something that does take a little bit of time, but you will start to be able to read your client's body languages. And this is a skill that does take a little bit of time. But if you have already, if you're maybe a natural empath or you have natural compassion for people, or this isn't your first time working with people, then really being able to read a person or your client's body language and their tone will absolutely help their experience with you and make you a super successful coach because now you are really able to refine your interactions and not necessarily even your interactions, but be able to kind of navigate your way and your relationships and services with your clients as a coach. So this skill for me, it it wasn't something that took me a long time, but it was something that took me a long time to kind of in, inter, in, <laughs> to integrate it into my business model on a consistent basis because every client is different. You may feel connected to specific clients more than others. And a lot of the times that's kind of what was going on with me in the beginning where the clients that I felt most in tune or connected with, that is really when I would be reading them a lot more. But I realized that I needed to be doing this with every specific client and I needed to refine this skill to really be able to pay attention to my clients during our time of working together. And it's something that I still do to this day and something that I teach all of my clients. Having clear communication. Refining your communication skills is crucial to becoming a successful coach. You are having people come to you and looking for specific service and help with your specific niche. And during time with your clients, you really want to make sure that you have clear and coincise communication with your clients so that way you can really bring them to the end goal and the reason why they hired you, right? Whatever your specific niche is, whether it is um, you know, learning how to knit a sweater. And I've said this one before, learning how to bake. You are a life coach. You are a fitness coach. 
really being able to speak with your clients and have clear in communication with them is going to help them reach that end goal and be able to master whatever it is that you are helping them achieve. So that really is something that a lot of my clients struggle with in the beginning. Uh, some of them have been introverts and that's why they were looking for, you know, online careers. But it is something that it doesn't mean that you have to be in a group, right? It's still one to one, but being able to communicate and have that open communication with your clients is what's going to make you a successful coach because you are able to really help them get to that goal by clearly communicating what they need to hear during the entire process with you. Number six is learning how to give constructive criticism without putting someone down or making them feel bad. So this is a skill that took me a little bit to get, and I didn't really even realize I was kind of doing it. I thought my constructive criticism technique, I guess you could say, was, you know, just kind of cut and dry and, you know, to the point. And I thought that I was doing my clients, um, you know, a disservice by not being radically honest with them, right? And giving them the best constructive criticism you can possibly imagine. But I started to realize um, from actually negative feedback from some of my clients in the beginning that I might have been a little too, not that I might have been, I was a little just too kind of cut and dry with them. So you have to understand that every client is different. When you are hiring your high ticket one-to-one -one clients, they are coming to you and they are looking for a customized, tailored experience from you. But also we have to understand within that, that we have to take our actual clients into consideration as well. And not just, okay, well, this is me and this is what you get. As much as for the most part, yes, that is what all of my clients get when it comes to my services and the results that they will achieve. But at times you do really need to refine your skills on how you are speaking with your clients when it comes to being able to give them feedback within your services and that time that you are going to be coaching them. Number seven is being a great speaker. Now I know this can kind of go hand in hand with communication and the constructive criticism, but being able to have good vocabulary and be a good speaker is totally different than just having, you know, good communication. It's really being able to learn from people that aren't able to verbalize what they need to say correctly. And this is really a big piece of advice to be a successful coach. You have to be able to speak in a manner where your clients are going to be able to kind of pick up what you're putting down, right? You need to be able to really deliver information to your clients in a way that they are going to understand and it is easily digestible for them so that they can kind of have their aha moments and also just get it. Number nine is pays attention. For me, what makes a successful coach and really just having success in life in general is being able to pay attention to everything around you. So we kind of touched on this when, you know, paying attention to or really learning about body language. It's really paying attention to your client, to their needs, their body language, what they are saying to you, what, what you are hearing, even just subtle clues or cues or things that they kind of might have just said in passing. You really should be paying attention from the minute you have your client, even as a prospect, all the way until the end of your coaching with them. And this is a skill that does take a little bit of time, but this is something that is going to bring you throughout your career and just have so much success and have really happy clients. 
being able to pay attention to each specific detail that goes on in your business. It is what is going to give you the most success and sustain that success and make you the successful coach that you want to be. Last but not least is confidence. This is one big thing that I always teach my clients is that they need to have confidence. And I do have clients that again are introverts and I have to kind of go through some exercises and just give them a little bit more attention about how they can go about gaining more confidence. And I actually have a lot of confidence building exercises that I do with my clients because this is something that you are going to need from the beginning again of having a, a client be just even a prospect all the way until the end where your clients achieve the results of that in which you are teaching them. Confidence is something that takes you throughout your life and throughout your business and is what gives you ultimate success. If I was not confident in myself, if I was not confident in my services and knowing that I can get you the best results possible, if I was not confident in that, my not confidence would trickle in to my business and my clients would feel that at some point during their interaction or journey with me. And I know this because again, I have said this in so many of my other videos that there is so many clients that I have that have hired other coaches in the past didn't get the results they wanted and they knew at one point in their journey with that specific coach that they were not going to get that in which they were promised because they started seeing that their coach wasn't even confident within themselves or the service that they were providing. So if you want any kind of confidence building tricks, you can message me directly on my Instagram. I literally answer everybody. Don't be shy. I, it's not just my clients that get all of these tips and tricks. Tricks, Obviously, that's why I'm here making these videos for you viewers. But it is honestly the biggest thing that is going to take your business and your coaching services to the next level. I really hope this video was helpful for you to really understand the top skills that you need to become a successful coach. So please subscribe down below. So much more useful content coming for you guys. Until next time.